Now, I know before you did the, uh, the Bond movie, you were, you were a model, weren't you? Well, not exactly. I was never an official model. I mean, what does uh, that mean? You were not an official model. You did modelling, didn't you? I did modelling. Well, I then, as far as I'm up... concerned, you were, you were a model in my books for some <laughs> period of time. I was never a great model. You weren't a but great model. But I was picked up by my model agency in a restaurant. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, it was really bizarre, because I never thought about doing it before. Well, and perhaps you'll tell me that story some other time. Yeah, exactly. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of models do want to cross over into acting, and of course they fail. So, so why, what do you think about, it was about you that managed to make that jump? Well, I always wanted to do acting. So uh, modelling was just pocket money, and that was it, you know. And um, I went to drama school and, you know, stuff like that, and uh, I was determined. I think it's just determination. So yet you did it the hard way, you did it properly, you did study and... Yeah. But not completely the hard way. I didn't do the three years I should have done. I just did, like, two terms. So, um, but it was uh, just luck, you know, and being getting the right breaks and just keeping determined about so, it. So, now, I know you didn't get the Bond film immediately because you were just auditioning as a kind of stand-in, weren't you? No way. OK, well, let's, <laughs> let's see how we're going. No you way. were never a model. You weren't a stand-in. You, you did do the Bond film now, didn't you? Have I got that one right? Yes. Yes, you were in that one. <laughs> now, of course, as I mentioned in the intro, there, the Bond females have a, a, a nasty habit of disappearing. Yeah, they have this kind of curse, don't they? Yeah, and, and oh, you boy. have managed to avoid that. I mean, I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. I know the sort of curse of the Bond girl. Um, well, tell us about your latest project. We're going to have a look at a clip okay. of it. Well, tell us about. I just did uh, a mini series called Not a Penny More, Not a Penny Less. Jeffrey Archer. Britain's I think that Britain's finest means... author. That's based on a work by, of course. Um, <laughs> now here you are. You're trying to avoid drifting into obscurity, and yet you're appearing in something written by Jeffrey Archer. Now, doesn't that worry you? <laughs> Tricky, yeah. But don't Tricky. you think there's a, just a, a possibility there? Yeah, but he's really commercial, isn't he? Do you think it's obscurity or sort of full neon light? Well, I don't know. Well, let's have a look at the clip and then perhaps the audience can decide. This is from, it's, once again, it's... Not a penny more, not a penny less. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> when did you give up modelling? You knew. Mm-hmm. It doesn't take too much to work that out. You hated all the fuss and your good American common sense told you that it wouldn't last. So you went to work as a photographer's apprentice. So you'd have a life after 30. Oh, yes, and of course you always loved fiddling around with cameras. Uh, how am I doing? 100%. Look, why don't we go somewhere a little quieter so we can talk more about your intriguing life? I really should ask Adam to join us. Oh, but ruin his evening. Look at him over there. He's in Snob's Heaven, chatting up the Queen's cousin. Where do you propose we go? Well, how about my flat? It's just around the corner. Look, you really should photograph your subject in his natural habitat. No, thank you, Lord Briggsley. Here we are. Well... <laughs> top class entertainment. <laughs> uh, now... I think both people see it, they'll be saying, not a second more, please, spare us. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, what do, you, what do you think of the finished product, honestly? Well, I'll tell you, it was a great bunch of people to work with. No, but, but you... what do you think of the finished... <laughs> I haven't seen the... Fi I've only seen, right, like, two What did two you think episodes. of the clip, Mariam? The clip? Well, it's difficult to watch myself, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. for one. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's Geoffrey Archer. Would you, do you think, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> light entertainment, it's fun, What it's a damning thing to say about something, <laughs> It is Geoffrey Archer. It's quintessential <laughs> Archer, ladies and gentlemen, that's what it is. When does that start on TV? I think in two weeks, 25th yeah. of March, I think, for mm. four Sundays running. Oh, I can hardly wait. Now, did, was Geoffrey... Uh, <laughs> Geoffrey, did he come down to the set? Did you get to meet Mr Archer? Oh, yes, and how. Oh, yes. He's quite, quite a personality. He is, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, pretty outrageous. <laughs> you didn't get a chance to look at his back by any chance, did you? <laughs> Tell me about his back. I don't know anything about it, not as the rest <laughs> of the country, but we'd probably still quite like to know, even though it was some time ago. He has remarkably smooth skin for a man, doesn't he? Have you noticed that? Um... <laughs> Clear skin? What, well, I saw him in a restaurant. It reminded me of a... You know that Greek cheese? That cheese? It looked, it looked, <laughs> did you notice that at I all? I think you're being too nice, Jonathan. <laughs> Much too nice. Did he, uh, I mean, did he, did he try to pick you up or anything? I mean, was there anything there at all? Or... <laughs> I'm not playing them tonight. I'm not playing with the audience. <laughs> He's a great charmer, Geoffrey Archer, and he'll try to pick up anybody. Because he's out, I don't know, have you been? He's out campaigning as a by-election. He's out campaigning at the moment, shaking hands with sausages, even. I mean, he really is <laughs> desperate to get the vote out there. Um, well, let's go back to the, to the uh, Bond film, if I need to avoid a libel case. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, know, I, know they're quite, <laughs> I know they're quite tough with the people who they sign up for the movies, and they sort of look into your past. Are there any conditions you have to fulfil before they agree to let you star? Uh, you mean, what, from past life and stuff like that? Yeah. Well, um, tell me about your advertising awards. Why? <laughs> I'm just joking about past Oh, that was life. a joke. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I do apologise. 
but, and we'll, we'll get the punchline a bit later in the evening, perhaps, <laughs> <shall> we? <laughs> Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, for the punchline from Mariam's superb joke a bit later on this evening. But, I mean, they do... I know they do, cos you, you, you did the no, Playboy spread. No, they, they were really, um, really, really sweet, the Broccoli's, everybody. Um, and, in fact, I auditioned months before getting the part. And uh, not for me, but for one of the Bond guys. Yeah. Uh, and then they saw um, the tape and all that. And then I was off in Germany doing a movie with Maximilian Schell. And I had my hair cut very short. And I'd lost a lot of weight. And I didn't know that they hadn't started shooting the Bond movie. And when I came back to England, because this film I started in Germany fell through after a month's shooting, I bumped into Barbara Broccoli um, in the street. And she said, my god, Mariam, you've changed, and so forth. And she, they were still looking for the girl. And uh, I just went to see them, and uh, they decided to, to take me. That's I, know, I know they're very wealthy and successful producers, but having a name like Broccoli must be a real pain, isn't it? Don't you think? <laughs> Do you know that they invented the vegetable? Did they really? Yeah, absolutely. So they bought us Bond movies and Broccoli. <laughs> Whatever next, I wonder. What are they planning? But yeah, it must they plan a lot. Yeah, no, that was the movie. That was probably the least saucy of all of the Bond movies, wasn't it? Yeah, and you didn't like it, right? Well, no, I liked the film. I just would have perhaps liked to have seen a bit more sauce, but... It, it, <laughs> <laughs> was, that, was, that conscious, like was that a conscious effort because of AIDS and because of the times we're living with? No, funny enough, it had nothing to do with that. Uh, I just think they wanted to try a new style, and it was, uh, you know, the new Bond, Timothy. So they wanted to try something new, and I was very lucky to be, you know, less saucy. <laughs> well, it was, that was a fun film, and I think the nation waits expectantly for the, the Geoffrey Archer series. And you're expecting a saucy? Uh, no, no, saucy I'm, I'm, I expected to be absolute tripe, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> I'm sure it will be hugely enjoyable tripe. I'm sure it will be. Thank you very much indeed, Mariam Darbo. Thanks Thank for that. <laughs> no, it'll be excellent, I'm sure.